All right, hello, my name's Jar of Secrets, and today we'll be pulling on the Dark Desert Rituals banner. Welcome to Horny Jail, because we will be sniping both red and green for Harmonic Dorothea and Flying Tharja. Uh, I've been rather lucky so far in regards to saving up orcs, since I haven't been interested in summoning since Winter Hilda dropped. And a lot of people... We got a fur. Uh, a lot of people were complaining about the fact that uh, a Plegian banner has only one Awakening character, and, you know, I- NO WAY! NO WAY! ALREADY! WHAT?! <laughs> oh man, let's look at the IVs! Oh, Please tell me speeder it's- Oh, minus attack! That's so typical. Alright, dude, we're not spending much orbs today! Okay, I can ignore red from now on. Oh my goodness! Whoa! <laughs> Dude, please tell me I got Tharja already. Oh, okay, Boros, reposition. I will... I will happily take that. Wow, what a start! Okay, uh, as I was saying, a lot of people were complaining about the fact that... Wow, what a bad... Um... I guess we'll go for Katarina. I don't mind Katarina. Yeah, a lot of people were complaining about the fact that a Plegian banner has only one Awakening character, and I feel your pain, you know, I feel your pain, you uh, Awakening fans. Not really, though, because, you know, I got Tharja, but I, I, I see this sort of as a sharing of culture, you know, like Tharja herself is exploring her traditions with the other characters. That, that's how I see it, anyway. Alright, uh, two green. Top and the bottom left. Uh, speaking of Tharja, um, I, she's hot. She's just insanely hot. I, it's, it, she's one of those characters where, after looking into her personality, I really, really shouldn't like her. Like, she's a stalker, she's a creep, she is a terrible mother, especially to, uh, I forgot her name already. But, it's just, she's just so insanely attractive. It's like, don't put your dick in crazy, and like, Tharja's crazy. We get a chicken. But, just, when I played Awakening, Tharja just ended up being, by far, my best unit. Just, Nosferatu in that game is so broken. It's so much fun. And just, I don't know, it's just, I really shouldn't like Tharja. Oh, that's a good circle. I shouldn't like her, but I, I adore her, you know? It's one of those girls you can't escape from. Ooh, we got another ring. Let's see if we can get her real quick. Please. Dude! Oh my god! I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I don't need to. I don't need to pull anymore. <laughs> wow. Oh, minus attack. Oh. <laughs> I'll pull until I get to like 500. I think 500 is a good, good time to stop. This is insane luck. Wow, uh, I guess we can get like a a second of the two of them. But yeah, Tharja's great. I'm not really a fan of Katarina, and by extension, Chris. Katarina, I kind of see as like the... She's just waifu bait. Like, the way the story is written is that Chris is like the main dude, and he's a terrible, terrible avatar. But you guys think that uh, Robin and Corrin are bad? No, you'd have no idea how bad Chris is. Chris is probably my least favorite character in all of Fire Emblem. He's, he's up there with Perry. But just Katarina's written to be like, smitten and in love with him and everything. It's really annoying. Oh, Guma! But Chris is the Temple, uh, the Tempest Trial. I don't know why I said Temple. The Tempest Trial character, and she, he is a green calf. I'm always willing to take them. The Tempest Trials have been crazy. We've been getting them back to back, back to back. And lately, we've been getting a lot of seals. Uh, we got Attack Speed Solo, I think, last time, and this upcoming one is Air Orders. Very good skills. I'm very happy about those two. Aside from that, we also have Raphael, uh, Dorothea, and Lean. I'll be honest, I haven't played Three Houses. Uh, I kind of burned myself out. I was playing every single Fire Emblem game, and I ended up not liking Fire Emblem 5. I really didn't like Thracia, and I just dropped it, but I will get two, three houses at some point. I have seen- WHAT?! Oh, to BARD! Dude! 
This is the luckiest banner in the world. What was I saying? I have seen those supports for three houses. I love Mercedes. I love Marianne. I will be voting for Marianne for a CYL5. And, um, oh, there's Sarja. I will be voting for Marianne. But, I mean, a lot of characters from three, three houses are very likable. Uh, Dorothy is okay. Her personality is just kind of whatever. She's just insanely hot. I kind of see her as the new Camilla, just because she's got giant bedonkers. And, like, th I mean, it's all crazy that they have... She has two ults before her base kit, which is kind of insane. Dorothy again! Hello! She is treating me nice. See, how can you how can you hate a woman who treats you this well? No? And Raphael's funny. He's cheap cheap tree doo doo! But I, I am a blue lions. I did play a bit of blue lions. I didn't get very far though. Roy's our boy. And of course I haven't played um genealogy yet. I will at some point. I played most of the fire emblems. I kinda wanna end now. Let's let's go on a high note. I'm gonna pull until I get another five star. I'm getting greedy. This is probably gonna drain my orbs, but I do not care. <laughs> I I've been I've been sustained. I've been uh, happy. Hinata! I needed him. I need Fury. I need Fury so bad. Wow, even the four stars are nice. We did get a data mine last night. And it turns out that for the next Hall of Forms, we do have Wide of Your Arm coming up. I've always wanted this thing for Fire Room Heroes. Genshin Impact does it, where you can have English texts, but you can have Japanese voices. I, I think that would be really... Oh, great. Uh, one second. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, um... I really wish they had the Japanese voice actresses and actors. As, as, as much respect as there is to, like... I mean, the English the English voice actors are great too, but every once in a while, oh, wow, another. This is really good. I, I would I would really want them to be able to switch back and forth between English and Japanese. That's all I'm trying to say. Because Fjorm, Fjorm I don't really care about Fjorm. The only uh, Fey OC characters I care about is Leg Yarn and Plumeria, because they're hot. Okay. You entered this video. The first thing I said was, "Welcome to Horny Jail." Welcome to Horny Jail. Okay, get your bonk. But apparently, Fjorm's voice actress in Japanese is Rei Takahashi, who voices Megumin, Takashi, um, Emilia from ReZero. Like my favorite voice actress, and like I, I, I cared a lot. I would care a lot more about Fjorm if I happened to be able to hear it in Japanese. But I do have base form, Fjorm. Sorry. As everyone does, and I did manage to get the New Year's weird New Year's New Year's one uh, for free because of all the tickets they gave out. And you know, might as well just complete the complete the collection, which is nice. Tiki. Speaking of Tiki, um, the next resplendent character is going to be Young Tiki. They continue to ignore Adult Tiki. We have like what five different. Young Tiki, and now she gets the Resplendent. It's quite cruel, quite cruel. Also coming up is a Fallen banner. I really, really, really love Ike. Ike is probably my favorite character. Um, he's just such a great, well-written character. And I love his his game is the best. Path of Radiance is amazing. So, I'm tempted to try and spark for another Fallen Ike. I do have a plus one. I think he's plus attack, too. And he is my main uh, sword user. Aside from that, I have been mostly saving up orbs for, of course, the Choose Your Legend. And I really, really... Again, okay? Judge me all you want. I want some merges for my Bunny Kagero when she comes back. I only have her at plus one. Thanks to the... Uh, ticket path, the toilet papers, I don't know what they're called, Divine Codes. I really shouldn't be summoning, this is bad luck now, what are we at? 4.5? I'll stop at 400 no matter what, how about that? Good circle, good circle.
buffet has been pretty interesting as of late. Um, we've had ups and downs. Ponza Loki is very good. It's a very fun game mode. I was not expecting it to be this much fun. Day one, when it was first released, was an absolute blast. But ever since they added the player player teams, it's it's a lot. It's not as fun, but it's still pretty good. So we have one high end of that with chess, and then we have the low end with budget. I don't even know what it's called. The one where you put place bets on your horse. And it was funny because the first time they did it, Alencia absolutely bodied. Everyone voted for Alencia, and she just killed the entire game. But then the second time they brought it back and they made it even more difficult for some reason and just nobody cared because the rewards were not worth the time. And the, It's just every time you bet, you end up losing. We're at 3.75. Ellie would. Book 5 has started. Regan, ah, let's be honest, I think all of us were really wanting a dwarf male, a big buff dude, a short buff dude, to be the free unit. Regan's alright, she does have very nice thighs. Erica, I really should have ended, I really should have stopped pulling a while back, this is not as good. And there we go, Dorothea. That will fix our attack debuff. I'm happy about that one. Maybe this one's speed. Defense, okay. Uh, I'm happy about that. Uh, let's pull the green, why not? Let's just, that was pretty good. I'll be sure to summon more in the future if any banners happen to spark my interest. More than likely the upcoming Choose Your Legends and Bunny Kagero's rerun. It's Camilla, okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully your polls were just as good as mine, if not better. But be sure to let me know down in the comments down below. And until then, I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.